Good morning, folks. It's Saturday. We've got our podcast coming up in a few hours, and there are two can't-miss videos out the last two nights. But let's get to today's run over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star, and we see another day without sunspots. The strong coronal hole on the north facing Earth. It's starting to turn through. The solar flaring is obviously absent. The solar wind is calming at Earth now. You see, we never did hit 500 kilometers per second in this week's stream. Geomagnetism calming back, but two near cosmic ray alert levels, so eyes on the app today. Indeed, we no longer see the weak corona hole on the south. That northern opening will have its solar wind arriving at Earth sometime between tomorrow night and Monday midday. Weather Channel put out a forelooking post about June and July. They predict significantly different months in terms of U.S. temperature distribution. I'm hoping that July setup brings a proper monsoon to the southwest. Today's top story is from TESS, the next generation planet Hunter. It is using the moon to attain its permanent orbit right now, which is a unique orbit around the Earth, and on its way it took its first test shot. The tiny variations it will detect in these lights will deliver tens of thousands of exoplanets and is expected to find a number of Earths out there as well. It can see almost the entire sky. I want to leave you with an aesthetic piece. Yale scientists have mapped the velocity of gas in a gorgeous star-forming region of Orion, allowing them to ascertain that gas might be streaming away from a point in both directions. We're watching that cyclone hit the Middle East today. Central states and some on the East Coast have major storm alerts tonight, so check your forecast. Below this video, you've got links to those two can't-miss videos from the last two nights and the Members Fly on the Wall podcast coming up in just a few hours. We greatly appreciate your support over at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.